Hey guys, welcome to part 11 of... Eleven. Do it, dude. Mega and... Meh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was full of enthusiasm. <laughs> mega, 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 man. There you go. Oh my god. So, last time, we took on... A empty room. <laughs> a empty room with color blocks for walls. So this time we'll be heading on to room number three. No, room number four. And the reason why I'm calling it room number four is this has the same similar room, so I'm just calling this room number four. And there's actually something a little funny that I remembered. A little bit off camera before we started. Let's see if I can get my f frame rate up a little bit. Yeah. And you see, we we were actually just finished uh, recording um, part four of uh, Tell Sky Patrol, and I actually remember this little scene that Charles said at one time. My mom is sneezing <laughs> in the background. <laughs> what? Nothing. Everything. I don't know. <laughs> and it actually had to do with the uh, Japanese thing. Alright, come on. And, yeah, it had to do with the uh, Transformers uh, Japanese series in particular. And some people probably know where I'm getting to with this now. I know there's uh, multiple uh, Japanese um, iterations of Transformers shows, and there's even Japan only shows. The one I'm looking at is the ones where the Transformers get special powers, quote unquote. Yeah, that's that whole thing's just fucking weird. <laughs> and there's something funny that Charles said I actually remembered. And um what Charles did is that he altered the um the jingle the Transformers. And dude, tell him what you came up with. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Transformers, perverts, in your thighs. <laughs> oh man, this, this guy is a genius. <laughs> no, I'm an idiot. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. And the funny thing is, I that pretty much fits the picture. Because, I mean, like, I mean no offense to Japan or anything whatsoever. Because, I mean, Japan makes a lot of very cool and neat stuff. Like, we got Transformers but in Japan. You look, we got the weird shit. Nintendo from Japan. Sega is from Japan. So, I mean, we get a lot of cool and neat stuff. And stuff that's Japan running along Japan. for a long time. But it's just some of the stuff Science that from Japan. <laughs> Japan makes. Yeah, it could have took a, it could have taken a and second look at the drawing board. Machines have panties in on this from Japan. What? That's a little. That's a yeah. That's a legit thing. You could buy used panties and vending machines over there. It's like a well-known thing, dude. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, one. Um, no. Two. Why would you want to? I don't know. Oh, stepped on that one. Unless you're very desperate for a few pairs. Good grief. Japan's weird, okay? We've established this. 
Yeah, yeah, like I said, no. Japan, you can put any. Japan makes a lot of very well-known stuff. Yeah. What I'm looking at is some other choices like that they make. boxes and like fucking soda machines. That's about it. Maybe in snack machines. There's a vending machine for basically any fucking thing you can imagine. Oh god. Okay, so I can't jump here. And once again, lag has saved my ass because there was, I uh, played this uh, part, uh, just the uh, beginning part up here. I, on full speed, off camera, I, for the life of me, I could not get past it. Oh, God. Yeah, you burp could not get past it. <laughs> Speaking of hard fucking games, Twisted Metal Black is more brutal than I remember. Holy shit, is that game hard. For some reason, I just randomly thought of Duke Nukem. Okay. <laughs> I can't think of anything. I have I don't know no idea Duke. why. I have no idea why. I'm just like, Duke dude. I don't know anything about Duke Nukem except like the Duke Nukem Forever thing. Nukem that that was like a legend in the game industry until the game came out and it was kind of like terrible. <laughs> Because, like, they had been trying to make that game since the 90s, and then it came out in, like, 2010, and it sucked. I think, was it when the uh, first Duke Nukem came out? Because I actually seen a, a clip of it. It looks very similar to as um, what the, uh, first, uh, the first few Dooms look like. That would be Duke Nukem 3D, because it was a 2D game first, actually. I don't know much about the series, so I don't know. Oh yeah, and for all of you um, Quake and Doom fans out there, I will be doing those games as well. I'll be doing all of them. If and we can. One lucky son of a gun, he was actually doing, uh, what's it, Doom... I think it was Doom 1 or Doom 2. I think it was doing a mod. Oh, yeah. And he actually had... Um, oh god, I'm gonna feel like an idiot if I forget his name. Was it um, Brutal Doom? No, it's actually one of the... What the hell is this thing? Brutal... Uh, oh, wait, are you at the boss? Yeah, it's like a giant gutsman on a tank. That would be Gutsdozer. What the hell? Um, in the mouth, quick boomerangs. When he opens his mouth, shoot him in the mouth, quick boomerangs. Oh. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm like. I forgot what I was fucking talking about. I'm hungry and tired. Ugh. I'm gonna make an egg sandwich in here. Well, and here's the weird thing. Why breakfast? Why is like specific foods made to breakfast? Like, why is that like a thing? Hmm. Like, why can I only have eggs for breakfast? Okay, why is it weird if I eat it at like McDonald's? Like, what the fuck? I'm hungry for some fucking eggs. I just, like, McDonald's gets it because now they're starting to serve breakfast all day, which is kind of cool. Yeah, every fast food joint does that, I'm on board. Because, uh, breakfast food's good. Yeah. Here's the thing, bacon, like, okay, bacon was the one, because people realize you can put bacon on a anything, it stopped being a breakfast food. And people just start putting it on, like, everything. I can't hit this guy in the mouth. At certain forms of eggs are considered non breakfast Devil eggs and shit, but like... I can't hit the stupid guy in the mouth! When he opens it! Oh. He opens his mouth, does he not? I remember vividly that he opens your, his mouth and you gotta stand on the treads. When he opens Stop his mouth and hit him in the mouth with quick boomerangs. 
Did you hear me? Yep. I'm just doing spawning heads. Stop it. <laughs> oh, he's hard. Like, yeah. Like I said, how I just said. That meant that landed on the back. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, what the hell would the game spawn me here? Jeez, you have even that strange cheese. Like, oh, yeah, I think Brian A was that one. That'd be Not far left from the boss door. There we go. Yeah, like what I was uh, mentioning before. Um, I will be doing all of the Doom games. Uh, Doom One, Doom Two. Doom 1 and Doom 2 will probably won't be that hard, but once you get to like 3 and online, I don't know. There's one game I'm actually kind of anticipating, one I can't wait to do. That's Quake 2 PC, because I actually got that game here, and that game is a lot of fun. Yeah. I greatly prefer it over I've the never played any of them. I greatly prefer it over the N64 version, because it's a lot... Not only is the game a lot longer, the environments are a lot bigger. I mean, they're well, yeah, huge. Because, because, like, it's on a fucking disc and not an N64 cartridge. And plus it has, um, online multiplayer. Yeah, and here's the reason everyone make games for fucking PlayStation and not N64. Just here. Because you have more space on a PS1 disc. The graphics were way worse. We can have more space to work with. Yeah. You get way more data on there than you could have fucking this before much. Well, That's why all the Final Fantasy. Oh, I didn't know I could get on him. I could get on I said get on, I said get on the tracks. Did you oh. not hear me say get on the tracks? Well, he's owned. I didn't yeah. know I could do that. You gotta jump on the tread. That's how you fight it, dude. So I'm still jumping on the ground. I was like, how, why can't I hit this guy? Well, there's... There's... <laughs> there's... Um, there's Guts Tank taken care of. God. Nope. That was quick and easy. That's the tank, but they call it Guts Tank. Wait, that's three bosses down. I think you're... I think next up is, uh, Lyrie. There's one more room. There's one more room after this. Look, because I seen the map before I came here. There's one more room. No, there's two more. Just trust me. But uh, yeah, up next is Doctor Right, 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 Right. So guys, run over the like button like a tank if you guys enjoyed. And <laughs> we are like stretching. We'll see you. In the next one, we will where we'll be going to one, two, three, room we'll number be five. We're going to fight Doctor Wiley. And I have no idea what we're going to face there. And Dr. then Wyvern. once we're done there, we'll be heading on to the final room where Doctor Wiley is there waiting for us. So guys, see you next time. Later. Doctor Wiley.